I think you are very keen to understand how you build Chandrayaan 4. Chandrayaan 3, of course, possibly you would have already understood how it goes to uh, from the Earth orbit to Moon orbit, slowly, progressively raising its orbit and finally reaching the Moon. But for Chandrayaan 4, there is a huge challenge. We not only have to go and land on the Moon, collect the sample, take off from the surface of the Moon like a rocket, go to the orbit of Moon, raise its orbit to reach in Earth, not only to reach Earth, but it has to finally land on Earth. Landing on Earth is much more difficult and equally challenging than landing on the Moon surface because there is no atmosphere on Moon, but on Earth there is an atmosphere and we need to overcome the atmospheric drag and heat, etc. So it will be a complex re-entry process, but more than that, we need to have different elements of the Chandrayaan-4 that need to be connected and assembled in orbit. When human beings went to Moon for the first time in the US vehicle, they had to do the similar exercise of the docking and reconnecting in orbit and also on moon they have to come go down and come back and talk to the mother craft at the orbit of the moon. Similar process need to be followed for Chandrayaan 4 even when you want to collect some samples from the surface of the moon. So that technology related to docking, connection, disconnection and reconnection will definitely be part of Chandrayaan 4 mission.